Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Sunday and me and Hector are actually about to set up my brand new camera. So I had to get a new camera because the one that I've had for years since like 2016, it's the Canon 70D and I have like a Sigma lens on it. I'll leave like the exact camera right here and I'll also link it down below if you guys are interested because it's a great camera. I absolutely love it. But I kept having issues with my audio and I thought it was the mic, but I'm pretty sure it's something internally with that camera. So I'll probably go and take that to get like maintenance and I'll just keep it as a backup but I just thought it was time to upgrade anyway I've been thinking about it for like the last year or so so I'm like let me just do it and I'm about to set everything up right now I'm a little bit nervous because it's pretty much like learning a whole new setup and I was so used to my setup for like the past six years but change is good sometimes and I think now it's necessary so I got everything from Amazon I will link it down below I actually got everything from Carly Bible's video she did like an entire dedicated video on her setup so I pretty much ordered everything that she mentioned in her video because it's like amazing quality but it's very simple so I will link her video and everything down below if you guys want to check it out but but to set it all up and put my old camera away. It's kind of sad because my camera has been good to me and it's been a trooper for the last six years. I love it. So this is my old camera and tripod. So I got the camera, like I said, back in 2016. And then the tripod I've had for years since like I started my YouTube channel. It is so old. It's not that great, but it's definitely been a trooper. My dad got this for me like when I first started my channel. So it's been around for forever. I don't even remember where it's from. And then these are the lights, which I'm thinking about getting rid of. I might just keep this ring light, which is from Amazon. And I really like this because you can adjust the settings on it. But this one here, this is another light that I've had since I started my channel and it's super old. It's not really that great. The one from Amazon is much better. So I'm thinking about getting rid of that one and then just keeping this. But I also did get a new light from Amazon and I have it over here because this is the one that Carly uses and her lighting is like incredible. So I'm gonna try it out and just kind of play around with the lighting. Also I wanted to show you guys, look at my old laptop. This has been around for a very long time. I think I've had this for like 10 years, but this is where I started everything. Like this is where I used to do a lot of my like college work in the beginning, like when I first went to school, but I also did like my first YouTube video and everything on here. So this means a lot to me. This is like very sentimental. So I'm keeping this forever. And this is my current situation right now. I'm gonna be cleaning out my beauty room this week because it is so necessary. I wanna do like a deep declutter, deep like, pre-spring cleaning and get rid of so much makeup. I'm gonna go through all of these drawers. I got another organizer over there and I also got another one of these organizers here from Amazon. It's like a little chest, I need to change that knob. But I'm gonna be putting more of my products in here because I was just running out of space and I'm so tired of having products and everything just scattered on the ground. It just like bothers me. I wanna just clear everything out put it away so this week is the week. I'm probably actually gonna do that tomorrow. Now this is heavy Ooh. duty. I know, it doesn't look like, yep, that's the cam. I think, wait, I don't know if the lens is there. Hold on. Oh no, the lens is here. Ooh. This is the lens. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. This tripod though, you guys, is really, really nice. This is like a major upgrade from what I had. But this camera, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot like more bulky than the one that I have now. So I wanted something extra heavy duty. Grand reveal. <laughs> this is fire. Oh, it kind of looks similar to mine a little bit. So maybe it won't be like that hard learning all the new settings. It's so beautiful. Did you just have the screen too? Yep, the little screen up top. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Seems like three pounds. It is crazy. Oh, it's gonna be intense. You guys are gonna see even more of my pores. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. See everything with this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Literally, they can see into my soul. <laughs> no, wow. Yeah, the lens is much wider than the other one. Now it's that... changing your background. Is it making it blurrier? Yeah, right now it's blurry. Yes! Because that's what I wanted. <laughs> that's the whole reason I got this lens. Here it is. Wow, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's transport this over right. across the, I was gonna say across the street, across the room. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's like the new girl in town. This compared to the, <laughs> my old camera. Oh. Yeah, they got beef. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras have beef. Mm -hmm. uh, Face off. I know. <laughs> So 
we got it all set up. I'm gonna have pretty much the same exact setup, like as far as like the background and everything. I'm gonna see if I can connect to my laptop because I'm gonna use my laptop as the viewfinder. Download images, remote shooting. Live. Okay, so this is what I use, by the way. It's called EOS Utility, and you can usually download this on like your iPad or like your MacBook, but this is how, with my old camera, I would like adjust the settings and everything on like the brightness and just to make sure I was in focus. <gasps> Yay, it works. Okay, good, because in the video, Carly, she showed this other thing that she uses to like adjust her settings, but I didn't think that I needed it if this worked. So good thing that this works because I didn't buy that other thing. Ooh, it's not in focus. I wonder, okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, you guys, this thing is so clear. It looks like perfect on here. I feel like- auto focus it. Yeah, I just pushed this button up here. And I love that the background is blurred. Um, this weather is actually insane. Like yesterday it was 60 degrees almost and today the, everything's covered in snow. Like <laughs> anyways, I'm about to have the quickest lunch cause just cause I wanna eat something before I leave. I'm just gonna go to the store with my mom and just get a couple like odds and ends. But I'm gonna make one of these rice pouches, super easy, you just pop it in the microwave, but they're actually really good. So me and Hector are gonna split this and then we're gonna split one of these soups. The Amy's soups are so good. They have so many like good like veggie soups. We're actually gonna eat probably rice and beans later at my my dad's house because he's making dinner but for now this will do quickest easiest lunch ever and it's so good okay so all i do is ever on this channel is show makeup and food but these chips are so good they taste like cinnamon toast crunch chips Found them at Target, you need them. Another Target snack, cause we went and got a bunch of snacks yesterday, but these, oh my goodness, they are so addicting. But like, if you know, you know, like this kind of ice cream is like better than regular ice cream. It's so good. And then this is a flavor that Hector likes. I like chocolate everything, but 10 out of 10. Someone's upset we didn't share our lunch. <laughs> right when I talk, he moves. Okay, I'm back from Walmart. So here is a quick little grocery haul. I just got like the bare minimum because we were just missing a couple things. So I picked up this crunchy maple. This is like a granola cereal and Hector has been trying to do more like gluten-free. We're gonna try it out this week. So I picked this up. This brand is actually really good for like vegan and, and like gluten-free granola and cereals. So. I got that. I also picked up some strawberries, clementines. Oh, these are so good. I can eat like the whole bag, especially in the summer. They're my favorite. Also got some sourdough bread. This is for me because for Hector, I picked up this vegan gluten-free bread. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but I got the sourdough for me. I got that for him for his PB&Js. And then I also got some wild blueberries. I incorporate these in Bernard's food actually every day. And Hector also puts these in his oatmeal. I also got some pink salt breakfast patties. These are delicious, especially with tofu scramble. So I got two of those. And then I also found these grain-free taco shells. And it's from the same brand that I showed you guys earlier that makes my favorite chips. So they looked really good. And these are also gluten-free. And then I got a big thing of oatmeal because I've been trying to incorporate more or oats and <laughs> I've been trying to incorporate more oatmeal every week. So we're probably gonna go to my dad soon. It's like five o'clock right now. We're gonna go eat some dinner and then come back. I'm gonna shower and just probably watch or wait for Euphoria to come on. I'm so excited for the new episode tonight. So we might stay up. We've been trying to go to bed early. Well, mostly Hector, cause I'm always like, my sleep schedule is always all over the place, but we try to go to bed early, especially on Sundays, like before we start the week. But this week, the episode is gonna be so good. I'm like, I'm gonna convince him to stay up. Leftovers are secured. My dad is the sweetest, so that is gonna be my lunch for tomorrow. Now we're about to go home and relax for the night. I have no idea what's happening, honestly. <laughs> More snacks. These veggie straws are so good, and you can eat like a bunch of them, and they're like super low calorie. For nine. <laughs> Time for the halftime show. Yep, it's starting. <laughs> Good morning. I'm watching Gossip Girl, of course. Always have that playing in the background, but I'm about to make some breakfast right now. I'm gonna do a tofu scramble. I got some onion and peppers chopped up. I'm also gonna add some cheese, 
spinach and I'm gonna do sourdough bread. I'm thinking about doing this hash brown that I have here, just popping that in the air fryer. And I'm gonna do one of these breakfast patties and I'm also gonna pop that in the air fryer as well. Okay, ended up making more tofu than what I'm probably gonna eat, but this is the completed breakfast. It looks so good and it's honestly so easy to do. So definitely recommend if you need something very filling. And then as always, I'm gonna have my ritual vitamin. I take two of these every single day. I've been taking those vitamins for like almost two years and they're my favorite. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and get ready to film. Now this is the current situation. I'm about to film a declutter for my main channel and I just emptied out all of my PR and new makeup that I have. So I'm gonna go through through the stuff first and then I'm gonna go through all of my makeup drawers and all of the other products that I have and pretty much just get rid of stuff that's expired and that I don't use. So today is Valentine's Day and Hector got me some red roses and my dad got me some white ones and look how pretty they look. I love having fresh flowers in the house. Now it is euphoria time. Ready to watch euphoria? Yeah, baby. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Oh, that's gonna make me have to yawn. Living his best life. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next day and I have been decluttering since yesterday and today. It's like a whole process. I got rid of so much makeup, so I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first, this vlog or that declutter, but I will link it down below for you guys. It is gonna be a really long one. So I'm pretty much just gonna be editing that and I actually wanna head out to the drugstore because I wanna film a reel. So that is the plan for today, but I just wanted to end the vlog here and share with you guys a couple snacks that we've been loving. This is not sponsored or anything and nobody asked for this, but I'm gonna just share it with you guys anyway because I figured I was already sharing a bunch of like snacks that we've been enjoying. So I'm like, let's add to the bunch. These are from Aldi as well as Giant, which is our local food store, but I'm sure you can find a lot of these, well, the stuff that I got at Giant at like maybe Walmart, Target, or like other like local food stores as well. First, I wanted to mention this yogurt, which I'm pretty sure I showed before, but I actually like to make Bernard's dog treats with this. And this is just the, um, I think it's Farager Project. Is that how you pronounce it? But this is just a dairy-free cashew milk yogurt i love the fact that it's just unsweetened plain yogurt for the longest time i was trying to find a yogurt like this for him and this one is perfect sometimes i will also incorporate it in like with his kibble because i like to add extra things to his kibble but anyways this is a yogurt that i love of course always check with your vet to make sure it's okay with your dog and maybe just do like a little taste test but if you need a good yogurt for your dog or for yourself this is really good you can also add this in addition to like a smoothie if you want to make it a little bit thicker also can we talk about this apple juice because i really don't love to drink a lot of juice because because I'm one of those people that once I start, I wanna keep going. So I kinda of go through phases when it comes to juice, but I mainly like to just drink water. But I recently tried this apple juice and it is so good. It's just 100% apple juice, but it tastes like a liquid apple. I know I'm like late to the game because this is not like a new product or anything, but like, I'm like, where has this been all my life? This is truly like the best apple juice. You can find this at Walmart, Target has it, and it's just truly liquid apples in a container. But if you ever wanna splurge and get some good apple juice, get this one. It's expensive because I will say for apple juice, it's a lot, but it's worth it. It's so good. Speaking of apples, I love apples and I have been loving applesauce. It's so weird, but I've been loving it after dinner sometimes, like just a little cup of applesauce. And this is just the unsweetened Simply Nature brand. I get these at Aldi and they are so good. And then these are the best Dorito dupes right here from Aldi. They're just like little cauliflower nacho cheese chips. They're not as cheesy as Doritos, but these are the closest thing that I have found to like Doritos that are vegan. I've tried so many and they don't compare honestly, but these do. And I love the fact that they're from Aldi because they're so cheap. And I don't really love these chips, but Hector does. So I wanted to shout them out. These are the quinoa barbecue chips. They're kind of like sun chips a little bit, but they have like just this weird, it's not weird. It's good, but it's like this little barbecue kick. It's a little bit different. I'm not a huge fan of barbecue, but like I said, I figured I would shout these out because Hector loves them and they're pretty good. They're not terrible. They're not my favorite. I definitely prefer these, but like I said, this brand from Aldi Simply Nature, they have 
some great finds. So officially before closing off the vlog, I also wanted to share with you guys something so special. So me and Hector have been married for two years. We just celebrated our two year anniversary on February 1st, which by the way, is so crazy. I feel like we just got married and bought our house and like the two years just flew by, like it's insane. So on our anniversary, it was really sweet. We actually like exchanged letters and we had like just a very special moment reading them to each other. But we actually ended up doing that a few days after our anniversary, like over the weekend because our anniversary day fell like on a work day and it was just a busy day. But anyways, long story short, Hector collaborated with another artist and he actually made me a song and it is so special and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you wanna listen to it, the link will be down below. It's just through Spotify, but I did not expect it. So we were listening to music um, that day Day, like on our anniversary we were about to get ready for bed and then all of a sudden he's like oh I really like this song and I was like okay let me hear and I was like oh I like it because the song in the beginning it's basically like the kind of music that I like to listen to and then when I realized that this song was about me I just started bursting into tears and crying and it was so sweet I love it it's been on replay Hector is amazing he's just he's great with like words and writing but the artist that he collaborated with is so talented I will link her info and everything down below if you guys want to check her out she's amazing and the song is just like everything that I could ever have like dreamed of like it's the type of music that I love and like just the way that the words and everything was written it's beautiful I wanted to share it with you guys because you know I know a lot of you guys have been with us for years you've been following through like us our college years and like you know we've been vlogging for a few years so I feel like a lot of you guys have just kind of seen us grow throughout the years and everything and so you know you're my girls you're my people so I wanted to share it with you and it's a really cute song and like I said it's a love song so maybe some of you guys can relate to it as well if you have a significant other but yeah, that is officially it for this vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging this week actually because it's Hector's birthday and I have like this cute little, well, I don't wanna say it yet because he might watch this, but I'll probably vlog on his birthday and this weekend and everything. So stay tuned for the next vlog. I really wanna vlog like once a week. Like I wanna post a new vlog every week. If I can do more, that's great. But like, that's like my goal and what I'm trying to do. But anyways, more content is coming and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.